What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux and Amphrodite. And you won't believe the drama. Okay, guys, so here's some background noise, like a little shing dig going on. Yes. <laughs> little party, guys. Holiday babies. Yes, holiday parties. So this video is when I sat down with you, I was like, let's do something. And I was thinking, and I was like, Jeffrey just bought a new house. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, Jeffrey Star bought a new house. If you want to see what it looks like, I'll put the video up in here so you can check it out because yes. I did a, like a tour with photos, you know, from like Ooh, the Realty website. Yes. So people can see what we're talking about and then you can come back. So, and before I get any further, you can check out his channel because we did a reading on me. Yeah. So if you're into that, you can check out his reading. Okay. I'm checking up so, on yeah. That. So Jeffrey Star bought a new house. And we're gonna read the cards and see it was it a good decision mm -hmm. to buy a fourteen point six eight million dollar house? And uh, there's some drama with the house too. Do you want to talk about that? I the uh, the article. Yeah, there was an article yes. that was on uh, the Ver Variety. Variety. Mm -hmm. And in the article, they said what, I'm just, we're going off the top of our heads. Yeah, they said. It was basically the people that owned it or potentially built it, I don't recall exactly, um, had a divorce. Mm -hmm. And everyone that tried to buy this house has had something negative or something fall apart. Um, so That's scary. It is scary. And then you buy a house because you think it's like a fresh start, new energy, and then you hear like all the drama that came with it in the yeah. past. Well, Jeffrey, girl, if you need us to come cleanse that house, we will. Cleanse the house, yes. guys. I know That's, do that. People do that professionally, too. Mm -hmm. Go I've and cleanse. And I think that this is just me. I don't know what you guys feel about this, but, you know, I feel like if you buy a new house and you're going to be living in it, I think it's important to have it cleansed yes. professionally the right way, you know, and stuff like that. Because you can go, like, there's this, you know, there's stuff that you can buy on the market, mm -hmm. but you rather get like the good stuff, yes. not the fake stuff. So to have the house cleansed and having that good energy in there. So I feel like Jeffrey should have the house cleansed hit me just up, to girl. get that negative energy out. <laughs> yeah, hit him yes. up. He'll come and cleanse your house mm -hmm. and get all that negative energy, all that bitterness from that last relationship that didn't work out before out of that house. So that mm -hmm. way they can enter Jeffrey and Nate in there and maybe they can build a family yes. or whatever. So, okay. Aww. Well, I should mention one thing. He did purchase it or was in talks of purchasing it. <gasps> oh my god. During a Mercury retrograde. Now, for those of you that don't know, when Mercury is retrograde, you have to be careful with contracts because it means you're not seeing everything 100% clearly. Yeah. And when Mercury goes direct, sometimes you learn things that you should have looked at before you didn't weren't able to see. And I was talking to you about Trisha Paytas when she purchased a car during yes, Mercury she retrograde. Did. She bought I, a Corvette. Yes, honey. And I, to I said to everyone, I was like, watch, there's going to be issues with this car because she's doing it during Mercury retrograde. And that's not, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be waiting. And lo and behold, a couple months later, girl, she, she said, sold it. She said she regretted it, and she yeah. said, "Bye, Felicia, I'm selling this." So never buy so, anything, guys, during a Mercury retrograde. Wait. Mercury retrograde. Do you feel this viewed as a negative thing? Only because of things like that, where yeah. you have to be careful about the decision making. If you have this in the works before Mercury retrograde, it's fine. But if you go into it in the middle of the Mercury retrograde, you just have to be careful about the finalization. You can learn information about things, but like pulling the trigger, be careful. Yeah. Okay. Remember, guys, don't sign a contract with Mercury Retrograde. Yes. All right. All right, so these are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. Entertainment purposes only. All right, so we're just going to go ahead just and Just like my love life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so he is pulling cards, and uh, and, I, and I'll pick them up and show them. Here's his oh face. Oh, my God. Here we go. Okay, oh my do, God. I, do I just grab one? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, one more. here we go. Okay. That's the Queen of Cups. That okay. would be him. He's a Scorpio. Okay, so... Right off the bat, the page of swords, you can okay. hold this up. Okay. And by the way, I see comments all the time like, oh, you can't hold the cards. You can hold the cards. We can hold yeah. the cards. He can hold the cards. It's, that's fine. Um, so the page of swords is a fight. That is antagonistic energy, and that is a fight. Oh, um, my life. Um, the two fight. of wands is also uh, an indicator of friction. Now, this is good for... Well... Yeah, go on. Maybe it was a friction in a fight in... This is a, in between the two of them. An agreement to get the house. Like maybe going back and forth in price? No, um, maybe? Yes. Like how do you see it? Like how do the cards well, see it? Well, I'll get there. Okay. Let me okay. get there first. Because there's the first thing I will say is the two of wands is friction. Okay. So the page of swords is an opportunity that we fight for. Okay. And then the two of wands also set. So if they're looking to be more, even more intimate, I know they're already intimate, but even more intimate, this is a good indicator of that. Ooh. So that's good. There's definitely sexual chemistry, enhanced, like it's going to be enhanced there. Yeah. Um, but the problem I have with this is that... Um, 
there has to be some sort of fight or friction, and then this is the Seven of Pentacles, that's like your comfort zone or your comfort. There has to be some sort of fight or friction when it comes to the, the house um, that is worth it, Yeah, but is ridiculous. Because okay. Seven of Pentacles is like, it's comfortable. I like this. It's a good environment. I feel good in here. Like, this is great. Like, but the, there is a the lot area of area of the house, you think? Like, the where they bought it at? You think that's what this is well, about? Like, the comfort? I mean, it's, it's still have you had issues with neighbors yet? Do you, no, well, but, like, for example, this is comfort, maybe? Right. So, like, he well, lived he, in Calabasas, and now Hidden Hills is, like, not that far. So okay, well, I'm telling you right now, he's going to have issues with neighbors. Okay. That's what, that's what this means. Woo! That's literally what this means. You know what? They're not going to like that Jeffree Star moved in. Well, that I'm telling you right now. Like, that's what I'm telling you. That's what this is. That's what I was getting to. Like, Imagine having a house that hasn't that no one's been in for a while. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, people move in. So there's noise. And they're like, who is this? And all that. Yeah. So, like, it's literally what's happening is, like, he's going to have... He's going to be enjoying his life. Oh, nosy neighbor. People around are going to start to cause issues. Yeah. They're, um, they're going to want to know who is that. Who, who yeah. Is so this is him, the Queen of Cups here. So he is a water sign. He's a Scorpio. So yeah. Queen of Cups is a good uh, significator for his emotional state. So I know he's had a lot of rough year, right? He's had a lot of ups and downs. This is good for his emotional state in the environment. So he's definitely going to feel a pep in his step emotionally. Yeah. Should be an emotionally positive and infused environment. Yes. But the problem I have is this Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, um, and the Eight of Swords, which is a victim of circumstance. I really do think that there is still negative energy in the house. I'm not even just saying that because that's... It, it's upside down. Yes, because yeah. it means that it's a victim of circumstance. When it's upright, it's uh, pressure. Yeah. So when the Three of Swords is here, that's exes or breakups and stuff. And since we read the whole story about the breakup and stuff like that, that energy is lingering. So and I do think that there is something kind of, there's almost like a, a negative lingering okay. that they need to be careful because this will be isolated to one specific place in the house. There'll be one specific place in the house where there's some sort of negative vibe or energy that people are going to feel off in. Um, yeah, so they, they're going to notice this. It's not going to be... walk in and be like, it, it feels, feels different in here. Different yeah. here. I can't tell if it's like haunted or anything like that. I, I'm not able to see that here. If I went to it, maybe I could, but I, I can't see it here. But I'm telling you, there's definitely negative energy that's left over. It's residual energy. Okay. Um, oh, this is getting good. Wow, okay. This is actually really good. Yeah. So, wow. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> fi financially being in this place will end up being beneficial for him. Yeah. I don't know how, okay? Ooh. But the justice card is a legal reward or a contract. Um, so is the Six of Pentacles. These are both very similar in terms of signing of contracts or, or things like that. This is um, consistency. Uh, sometimes I pull this for people who get new deals or new brand deals mm -hmm. or things like that. Um, and then the judgment card is the public. So to me, this has to be some sort of connection he'll end up making um, from like kickstarting the energy. So I don't know how that's gonna manifest. Uh, I, I think I feel how. I think that this house, like the public will even more know who that is. That's a huge house. I haven't and, seen I, it. I could I'm see, excited. But. I could see people like wanting to shoot like a Vogue cover there, like Vogue contact. Well, yeah, there's scene. definitely, yeah. this is definitely not beauty really. Yeah. That, I can tell you that right now. It's not beauty related yeah. because it's some a different side of Jeffrey. Yeah, or people wanting to see his closet or stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah. Just funny. like, oh, can we have a party in your house or hosting a charity event or something? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. going to be a different vibe for him. Yeah. Um, and I do think, because, okay, so I honestly think, okay, I knew it. So ha! the Knight of Pentacles is consistency and growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for him, uh, he okay. needs this. Okay. Consistency and growth. Right, especially when it comes to his stability. So that's very, very important because he's had ups and downs. Yeah. That signifies that that's ending. The world right here is the ongoing cycle that he's had of ups and downs. This energy that he's kind of stepping into in this house mm -hmm. will stop that. Okay. Um, the Eight of Wands says that it, um, everything is going to pick up pace incredibly. So like, Ooh. I know he's had a lot a very successful year. Yeah. We're doubling that within the first quarter of the next year. Um, the pace yeah. is going to be doubled. So um, you well, yeah, uh, have that house pay for a lot more. Girl, you got, I know. I'm telling you, you better <laughs> buckle up because everything is doubled when the Eight of Wands is yeah. upright. So he's going to be booked and busy. Mm -hmm. And I pulled the, t the Devil card reverse, which says I actually see him pulling back from negativity. I um, see that too. And negative influences. You should be seeing a severing of a bond between him and someone who doesn't suit him anymore. Yeah. Um, it's someone who's a little bit negative. I, don't, I can't tell who it is. Uh, but yeah, it definitely is. Um, I also think, 
And I've, I've read this before in some of my other readings for him, and this is happening, and I think it might be happening quickly. Um, this house, like I said, is starting new beginnings for him, and I'm serious. I see him going down a, a different endeavor. It's a different endeavor outside of makeup. Yeah. Uh, Five of Pentacles is what Ooh. that signifies. Because that's like an apprenticeship, so it has to be something he hasn't done before. Yeah. Um, and the King of Wands reverse, which means a hidden passion. Um, okay. So he hasn't really talked about it. And the Five of Wands reverse, which means um, he's avoided it in the past because he wasn't sure if he was ready or if his brand was ready, but it is. Yeah. Um, and if there is hesitation, he needs to do it. Seven of Wands is like, I don't know if we're really a fit for this. I don't know if I'm an underdog. I don't know if people are really going to like it, but they are. And it's going mm -hmm. to be really good. Um, this way, right? Yes, because okay. it was reversed. Um, I will say this about the house um, in terms of like his, um, w like what was paid for and things mm -hmm. like that. I do think he got a little bit screwed. Slightly. In the deal? Like yeah. he should have got it cheaper? Yeah. Yeah. I do think he got screwed because the seven of cups here tells me that this could have gone many different ways. So when I have that and then the past card reversed and detachment and then knight of wands reversed, these, all three of these signify like we kind of knew you wanted to move in, so we kind of pressured. Mm. So it's like playing hardball and winning. Um, I think Jeffrey was aware of this. I think, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he was aware of it, and he just gave in and caved in. Um, but that's kind of the only issue. That's, that's a good thing. That's deep. That's a good thing, though, because that would be the issue with Mercury Retrograde. So mm -hmm. that would have been the issue with Mercury Retrograde, is that you're paying more than you should have. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, it's clear to me that Jeffrey was aware of that and didn't give a crap. So that's good. Um, overall, and when it comes to his relationship, I do think it's going to, not that he needs to rekindle the spark, but I do think it's going to bring them more intimacy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's going to feel more like a home. Yeah, because there's not, like he said in his video, like just stuff everywhere. Yeah, like he, in the video, That's he not had, happening. Yeah, in the video that he posted recently, there was like a lot of luxury goods everywhere. Mm -hmm. And he said sometimes it felt a little bit cluttered and now there's like more space so he could just like breathe and feel more comfortable. Yeah, no, it's he's, it's going to be a completely different vibe. Yeah. This isn't going to be like, it's Jeffree Star, so it's going to be showy, but it's not yeah. going to be like it was before. So okay. I'm pulling one last thing here. Almost like, um, like a redefined... Um, yeah, this yeah. is like a like a rebirth. Like a rebirth, yeah. Um, so I did pull fragmentation and I pulled oh, out. Oh, so we pulled from the Dark, dark side, Miracle the dark, Oracle deck. Yeah. So these would be the uh, cards of what is the most intense or potentially, you know, negative. It's usually not negative. It's more intensity yeah. of the situation. So fragmentation is about pieces. Uh, so these are about showcasing different sides of him. And he's definitely nervous about some of the new things. Opening up a little more, yes. I guess. Yeah. He is terrified of vulnerability. That is why I pulled the artificial heart, which is about being cold and icy and not wanting to show mm -hmm. your emotions. This is what he's going to start to tackle in this next year for him, um, but especially with this house. I'm telling you, this is a big thing. And downcast pride is about him being more down to earth, more relatable, and more of a human. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start to see more of a humanization of Jeffree Star. Um, not that he isn't already related, yeah, yeah. but I definitely see- But people him, still, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I definitely see more, you're going to have more access. Not that you're gonna like know everything, but you're gonna feel like you have more access because he's going to feel comfortable sharing more than he has already. Okay. So, that's it. I'm not really seeing too much like drama. I, I, I love this reading. I thought it was okay. great. And I think that if we enter it with the cleanse, I think that'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. He's, you know, I'm actually very proud of him. Yeah. Um, because I'm shocked on how well I feel like this turned out. Like, yeah, I'm, me I'm too. like, whoa. Yeah. Like, he's learning. <gasps> yeah. Cool. For sure. Woo. Okay, guys, let us know what you think about about that. Yes. Because we read the comments, and please mm -hmm. check out his channel if you're into this stuff, if you liked it. Yeah, please subscribe. I'm close to 100K. Yeah, <laughs> just get him to 100K. Please. And if you like the card readings, I mean, he does everything. Yes. Like other YouTube celebrities, like yeah. name some that you have done. Recently, I did Alyssa Violet. Mm -hmm. I did Jacqueline Hill. Did, I did. Yeah. Trisha uh, Paytas. Trisha in the Paytas. Past. Uh, I did uh, James Charles. I think you do everyone who's like popping and relevant. Yeah, you know stuff like that. So if you're into, I like, also do true crime. So if you're oh into true crime, my girl, god! And he also takes calls that they you charge. I do private some, readings. Yes. Private readings. Yes, on my so website. So right if you feel a connection here, definitely check him out and yes. get a book your call. Yes. All right. I love you I love and thank you. you for having him. Oh, wait, and thank you for coming on yes, my channel. Honey. Cause it's like, it was so happy to have you here. Cause when I saw that you were in town, I was like, oh my God, please hope he wants to film with me. Cause I love doing these oh, videos. I, I feel I that way. You Cause I'm just like, maybe he's like hit 300K. He's like, oh. Girl, shut up. I do anything. I don't gotta do anytime you want. Shit gigs no. <laughs> I'll be on your channel whenever you want. I okay. Hell yeah. All right. Check him out guys. Bye.